through. Please of work, please of work, please of work. Make me look like a professional. And I'm miles up in the air. That wasn't what I was expecting. All right, this one might have gone wrong, but let's face it. It's not the first time I've managed to cock something up in front of you lot. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Welcome to another episode from me, Avamance, on the Avamancia Season 2 Farmy Site. This is not the building site, this is the farmy site. Now last time, we started building over in the build site where the town and the expansive bit is going to be. And it went okay, but it was tricky because there are a number of blocks that I haven't got. The town that I've started building is going to be medieval. It was spread out into other styles as we expand, but medieval in the centre certainly. And I haven't got terracotta as well as a number of other blocks that i would also like so i've got a bit of a mission today today there is a big chunk of resource gathering involved and there is also some exploring which i'm very excited about and there is also how much wool have i got hang on let me just check all oh, loads that's brilliant i need a load of wool and also quite a lot of building i hope have i got stuff there Oh, it's all starting to come together. I'm loving this. I should have loads in there as well because I know I did that too. But I'm really excited about showing you something. I want to show you something. I want to show you something. I want to show you something. Let me come through to the nether. Look, go through. Ooh. I don't know if any of you guys saw Sly Slime's recent video when he made a blooming great big hole on the nether roof. It was quite possibly the best Minecraft time lapse I've seen in a very, very long time. It was brilliant. I recommend you go see it. But I followed what he did. And look, I didn't do it on camera. Because, well, frankly, I've done it so many times on camera, you guys are just going to go mad, aren't you? And I don't want you to go mad. I think I had 47 attempts on camera, and it took me three goes to do this hole. Three goes, which I'm very happy about. So, yeah, now I can go through this third portal and get to the overworld and come back and come back to the overworld. And down here, I've got my hole. I'm going to get down it. I've got my hole that takes it down into the nether and I've dismantled the uh, portal that's up there because obviously I don't need it anymore but what it means now is when I do portals all over the place at various places I can do holes in the ground and get down to the nether should I want to that is extremely exciting because I've got a bit of a plan and it's a cunning plan a plan so cunning if you put a nose and a tail on it you could call it a weasel but first off, we need to go and look at the map. So this is the seed for Avamancia season two. You've seen it in earlier episodes, so it is no big secret. But if you want to come play the seed, the seed is literally just there. But what I'm really interested in is how I can get myself to various places on this map to get the necessary resources that I want. We've got this mesa here. We've got desert. I actually quite like the look of this desert up the top here. We've got all of these ice spikes over here with the snowy area, which is really, really nice. And other things as well. We've even got the little mushroom island up there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the coordinates of these areas and I'm going to divide them by eight. And then what I can do is I can go across the top of the nether, build a portal there. And theoretically, I should come out in these areas. Let's give it a try. I'm actually really excited about doing this. Exploration is one of the favourite things in Minecraft. And we're going to go and try and find three specific biomes. I've got all of the coordinates of the overworld. I've divided them by eight. And hopefully, hopefully I've done it right. Otherwise, we're just going to end up in another jungle, which I don't need. Because I've got a jungle just over there. Right, so let's do this thing. Let's get ourselves through into this never roof and see if we can't work out where we're going. Right, I'm through. I don't need to go through my hole, although I'm very excited about that. I need to find coordinates minus 229, 110 which means I've got to travel west, which is this direction, and it's minus 229, 110. Let's get over there. What I am going to do, however, is I'm going to get myself some torches. I'll put those ones in there, and I'm going to just lay torches going in this direction. So there we go. We're at minus 229, 100 looking at block minus 229 110 so that's the target block right there and i've got torches going all the way back to the other place so what i'm going to do was i've got loads of obsidian it's amazing what you can do when you barter with pigs those pigs do love a good barter and i've got a right old load of obsidian as a result of it it was brilliant but i'm going to make another portal that theoretically should take me out into the mesa 
So I just want to use my temporary blocks as well. I'll be needing those too. So I'm just going to use these temporary blocks because what I want to do is on the corners of each portal, I want to make it biome specific. That way, although I can sign it as well, it caters for my OCD. And that, and that, and that. So we've got four corners all sorted. Carpet on top to stop at any spawns. Let's get through this puppy and see whether or not I've done this right. If I've not, it will be embarrassing. But let's face it, it's not the first time I've managed to cock something up in front of you lot. I'm not judging you. You don't judge me. That's the way it works. Let's go through and see what we got. I'm a bit excited. Get in! You know it makes sense. Oh, come on. See, I know how to play this game. I'm a professional, for goodness sake. So I now know that this is the Mesa biome, which is absolutely superb. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to get some terracotta, and that way I can replace those four blocks with the terracotta, and that will sort me out. I also want to get a load of white terracotta, which you've got some over there I can do. Literally, I can just decimate this place. I'm not going to be building here, so I might as well use it for resources and really take it to pieces which is brilliant. I could also take a load of that coarse dirt too. But I'm not doing that now. I'm going to do that again because we've got other biomes to go to. Get back through here. Come on. You want to do the others as well. So I've put the terracotta in those four corners. Now I know that that is the Mesa one. I will do some fanciness around here over the course of time as well, just to make it look a bit nicer. But I'm going to do a little bit like we did on the old portal worlds in Legacy SMP before we went to 116. Now it's time to go for another one. And what I want is at minus 667, 122, which means that we are going still west, which is that way there. So let's carry on going that way and we'll see where we end up. There we go, minus 667, 122. We have got another one right there. Let's get this portal set up. Here we go again. I'm hoping this one is going to be a bit chilly. Through we go. Come on, please have worked. Please have worked. Please have worked. Make me look like a genius to everybody that's watching. Oh, I'm under the ground. Well, that's slightly less geniusy. Um, hang on, let me just hit that. Because that's going to... Oh, no, it didn't drop them. That's bizarre. Right, okay, so I'm in a cave. That wasn't what I wanted. Um, hang on. So I just need to light this cave up just to make it safe. Oh, for goodness sake, this has not gone the way I planned it to. Right, so it might make for... got some decent... I've got iron and stuff like that, so maybe I'll mine this out a little bit. But what have we got? Come this way, come this way. How bad is this cave? This cave could be quite bad. But I do believe I am where I'm meant to be because that looks very positive. Ho, <laughs> ho. It has worked. It only has gone and worked, hasn't it? The cave is officially more or less lit up, so I shouldn't get any surprises next time I come through this portal. The last thing I want to do is poke my nose through and a creeper blows it off. That would just make my day. I've not mined it out. I'll do that another time. I'm more interested in having a look at this up here. I couldn't see where I was going there. Did you see that? I want to know whether or not we can do something up here. Look, it's snow. What I do want to know, actually, this is a silk touch pick. Weird silk touch. Can I get this ice, packed ice, with a silk touch pick? Oh, I can, actually. Oh, now it's not ideal, obviously. But if I can get just a little bit of packed ice, that wouldn't hurt at all, actually. That'd be quite a nice little gatherage. I'll have that because I want to go up top. So I might as well just take this now, right? It's in my way. So crack on, I think, is the phrase. That was actually quite effective and it barely touched the axe. I mean, it's insane. Barely touched the axe. I'm breaking three and I've hardly lost anything on it at all. So I'm really quite happy about that. It's going to be ice for days. But what I do want to do is try and get up there. I want to get up above this snow. So I'm just going to dig out myself uh, a bit of a stairway that I can get up there with. And I also need... And there it is. There's the opening. That's what I'm after. That's what I'm after. Get rid of that and that and that. And we are up. And yes, it's the ice spikes bone. I'm really pleased. Now, what I do want to do is I want to build the portal that is down here. I want to get it up here because, well, I don't want to come out in a cave. I want to come out in the biome, which would be much nicer. So I'm going to sort that out and sync up those portals and then we'll be ready for some other type of biome action. That is much better. We've got our portal over on the top. And if we go down there, you can see just there, look, we've got our 
trip down into that cave system which we can go and mine out now i want to come back onto the top so as we can switch out those little temporary blocks there for some ice where's my ice there we go i'll have some of that ice uh that can come out that can go there that can come out that can go there and then if i go one two three and pop those out as well like that and one of those where's my carpet white carpet there and there brilliant right axe 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 use the axe otherwise you'll lose it come on you know what you're doing honestly you're a professional there we go right next one next one next one and the next destination is coming through please of work please of work please of work make me look like a professional make me look like a professional and i'm miles up in the air why my miles up in the air? That wasn't what I was expecting. Um, all right, this one might have gone wrong. I'm saying nothing. I'm gonna try again. Should we try it again? However, this time, I'm gonna to remember to put the minus in front of the Z number. We're hopping through and hopefully this one's working. Come on, please, please. No, we've not, we've not ruined it. We are bang on the Mushroom Island. We're not gonna have any mobs here, which is brilliant. It's the, my favorite type of uh, biome in that it shouldn't have any mobs. And if we want to get any mushrooms, they're behind us. We can maybe drag those through the nether back to base. Oh, but don't get struck by lightning because that can still hurt. And Silk Touch Axe does work on mycelium, which is great. I'll have some of this as well. That's fabulous. And I can use that to do the portal with. Right, let's get back for us. One more place I want to go. It's a thing of beauty. I know that one's going to end up being a dirt block, but that doesn't matter because we've got that at the top. I do love this way of doing it. We're going to properly make these portals look cool. And the mining desert is now ours as well. I'm going to take this thing to absolute pieces. I need loads and loads and loads of sand. And what's nice is we've got a savannah just over there as well. I've not got any wood from the savannah. I've not got any acacia wood yet. So I might go and grab, grab some of that now, which means the only thing I'm short of is dark wood. I'm just going to kill this husk because I don't want to get get that trying to eat me that wouldn't do at all right go on burn baby burn there you go you're deaded what about your brother hey, oh i missed him he didn't walk fast enough bad shot avo goodness sake you normally hit a flea off the backside of a donkey but not this time okay have we got anything from the house that might be worth having all i wanted was some acacia wood for goodness sake I've got some acacia wood and more importantly some acacia saplings so as I can grow up some acacias over at the base. It means not having to keep coming back to the savannah. What I do want to do however is I want to have a little quick investigation to see whether or not there's anything worth nicking. I mean sorry, see if I can borrow something from this village because desert village sometimes have quite nice stuff. Have we got anything in here? There's no, just, just, just a cauldron, just a cauldron. Is that it? That's all you got to offer me in that house. For goodness sake, come on, bring me something good. I want something good. Oh, I felt, oh, ho, ho. this is what I'm after. I do love a good blacksmith. Right, okay, now this is good. Look, we've got some obsidian now. That's fantastic. And some gold. And what, yeah, go on, have some rotten flesh and some sticks. I don't want them. You can have those. Uh, that, that, and might as well have an iron helmet as well. Brilliant. Right, okay, so we've looted that full. I'm not going to loot the butcher because he's got nothing. Okay, let's get back to base because I need to kind of regroup and decide what I'm going to do next. I've got all of those nether roots all signed up. The mesa, the desert, the ice spikes, the mushroom biome, even the mistake portal that I might do something with later on. Can you see that skeleton just sat by the portal? Don't you go through the portal onto my nether roof, mister. I might have to take care of you, hang on. Where are you gone? Right, you, I'm not gonna push you through the portal. No, I didn't, I killed you. It's all good. Right, I need to go and get boatloads of terracotta and boatloads of sand just come through the portal from the farm area and we've got our route over to the mesa and the ice spikes we've got our route over to the mushroom island we've got our route over to avamancia and the mining desert and our route down to the never all signed up and if you go up further in that direction you can see more signs really pleased with the way this has come out today this is going to massively speed up progress now i need to go and get a boatload of sand and a boatload of terracotta I've freed up my inventory as much as possible. I've got to go and kill the dragons. I need shulker boxes.
After all that mining, I thought I'd pop over and say hello to a few people in the mate space and the Hall of Heroes. Is your name going to be in it this week? Just want to say thank you to a brand new YouTube member and we've got a brand new section of garden. Oh, look at this. Zach, you are in on your own in this new section of the garden. Thank you very much for becoming a YouTube member. I'm going to dye you yellow so as you are officially there. You can turn around and say hello to the people behind you. Don't feel lonely, whatever you do, although maybe more people will be joining you. Let's go into the Hall of Heroes now. I am running into Avatopia Manor now. You can come and see this. Jump into the Discord link that is in the description below and I'll give you details on how to get involved with the Avaverse. This is my patron hall and this is the cobblestone level of my patrons. I have got two brand new cobblestone patrons to say thank you to. SJ Evans, I'm going to call the three and E, I think that's what you mean. SJ Evans, thank you very much for becoming a Cobblestone member. I'm really, really grateful that you'll take the decision to support the channel. And Robin Springer, Robin, thank you very much. Just like SJ, thank you very much for becoming a Cobblestone patron. It's brilliant to have you in this cabinet here. And if you come over to the server, you'll be able to see it yourself. The Hall of Heroes is where I say thank you to all the people that have taken the decision to become patrons of the channel. You people are absolutely amazing and the channel could not be without you guys. If you would like to become a patron of the channel, jump into the Discord again or you can go to avamance.com, that is avamance.com and it will tell you how to get involved and you too can get all kinds of perks including one of these great statues. Sephiroth, thank you very much for becoming a redstone patron. That's absolutely amazing. You look fabulous in that iron armour on top of that redstone block. Really very grateful for the support, my friend. Marcus Mayhem, one redstone patron. Thank you very much. You're in front of this redstone block, on top of this redstone block, in an iron suit. That's not bad, is it? Thank you very much, Marcus, for getting involved. Energy Smythe, thank you for becoming a redstone patron. I'm hugely grateful for the support that you're giving the channel, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what you might be able to do on Avatopia. And Kath Acro, Kath, amazing that you choose to become a Redstone patron. Thank you so, so much. It is brilliant that you'd be in that iron. You're looking fab in that iron. It's custom made, by the way. I've cut it and tucked it and made it fit just perfectly for you. Thanks for becoming a patron. I'm hugely, hugely grateful. Let's go upstairs. I've got one more to show you. So we've done the cobble hall, we've done the redstone hall, and now we're coming up into the iron hall. I don't have any new iron patrons, but any patrons existing that are maybe cobblestone or redstone, feel free to jump to iron because upgrades are allowed. But what I do have to say hello to is one of my brand new diamond patrons. Brand new diamond patron, this is the diamond area here. All of my diamond patrons, the absolute pinnacle of people lining up here with their heads, etc., on diamond statues. I have got one here. Land of Sticks, open up this, take out head. Now, Land of Sticks, you need to tell me, is this your head? Because it's given me a Steve head when I press the, give me the Land of Sticks head. And I'd hate to think I was giving you the wrong head. So in the comments below, please do let me know or send me a message through the Discord. But for now, I'm going to place this head on top. Thank you so much for becoming a Diamond Patron. It is amazing that you would choose to do that. I'm hugely, hugely grateful. What a top guy you are. And uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing what you're going to be doing on the servers, both Avatopia and also the Diamond Deck. I accidentally put the head on. I didn't mean to, but I thought it'd be funny. Let's go and say hello to someone in the mate space. This is what I'd look like if my name was Steve. I'm down in the mate space now. The mate space is where I say thank you to someone that's not necessarily a patron, not even necessarily a member of the Avaverse, but contribute to the community. And that could be by lobbing in loads of comments into the videos, being a subscriber for a long time, being really constructive, that kind of thing. And the person I'm putting in today has been a subscriber for ages. George, mate, I still haven't seen you on Avamancy. Are you coming across? You're just chilling with you. Where's your mate gone? Did your mate leave you? Oh, mate, I'm so sorry. Well, maybe, maybe it's time for you to come over to Avamancia now then. Yeah, I'll see you there soon, hopefully. Yeah? No, probably not. Anyway, let's get over. All of these people are in the mate's base and season two is here. All of that was season one. And I'm going to be putting in here. There we go. Eric was episode six. This is episode seven. Let me place this down here and I'm going to put in Kevin Wilkins. Kevin, you've been a subscriber forever. You're in the comments loads and it is fabulous to be able to put you into the mate space. Long overdue in my opinion, frankly. I'm very sorry to have left it so long. But you're here now, my mate, and I'm very grateful for the contribution you give the channel, and it's always good to see your comments down below the videos. Thank you very much. I'm not going to jump into either of the main servers for the Aververse today because I've got a bit of a thing coming out in a week or so. We're updating to 116, so I've done a complete review video. So let's jump straight back to Avamancia. 
Well, that should sort us out for a little while. We have got loads of sand there, and up here we have got a fair decent amount of terracotta as well. I am going to need to get some concrete. I think concrete is going to be critical, but I'm not worried about that right now. And I can dye up this terracotta to make white terracotta with some bones and make some white stuffs like that. That might be the way forward. I need to do something with this. This system is just rubbish. But I haven't got enough redstone or space at the moment to make it automatic. Anyway, should we do a little bit of building? We're right in the centre of town now to see if we can't make a couple more buildings to add to this fella here and maybe do a little bit of other stuff as well. We've got in our chest, I've stocked it right up here and I've also stuck a, a couple of furnaces down should I wish to smell anything. But hopefully this will sort us out for what we want to need to do. I'm only going to do a couple of buildings I think. We'll see if I get carried away, it has been known to happen. But I'm really keen to get this area developed and I'm going to need to accelerate the building process over the course of the next few episodes. So shall we crack on? Cue music.
Well, that took an awful lot longer in real life than it did in that time lapse, but we have got our first four houses all set out now, and we can grow our little town from this central point. I've sorted out the floor as well, just to give me a bit of a guide so as I can see with my eye where I want it to go. I think, all in all, that was fairly successful. Great fun episode today, really enjoyed making this one. If you enjoyed it as well, remember to let me know in the comments. If you have enjoyed this video, please remember to slap that like button. It'd be great to know you're enjoying it and I will keep on making it. Also, if you've not done it already, please do hit that subscribe button. It'd be great to see you in my sub club and I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.